One evening, on a school night when my daughter Mulan was eight years old, we were eating dinner together at a Thai restaurant, and she told me that her class had begun studying all about frogs. And she said, so mom, so first the frogs lay eggs, and then the eggs turn into tadpoles, and then the tadpoles turn into frogs, right? And I said, yeah, that's right, but I think it's just the females that lay the eggs. And Mulan said, oh, only the females lay the eggs? Well, what do the male frogs do then? And I said, well, they fertilize them. And she said, well, what does fertilize them mean? And I said, oh, the males make this substance inside them. It's like this co-ingredient for making tadpoles. And then they sprinkle it on the eggs. And, <laughs> and then she said, so only the females have the eggs. <clears throat> and I said, yes. And she said, is that true for humans too? Now let me freeze this scene for a moment to say <laughs> that even as I considered myself an enlightened, open-minded, sex is no big deal parent, I hadn't truly prepared myself for this moment. I mean, I had read a few parenting books and they all seemed to advise the same thing, which was when your child starts to ask you about sex or really anything that is complicated or multifaceted, just answer the exact question they asked. Nothing more, do not elaborate, don't overshare. And so in that sense, I suppose I was prepared for this moment. I wasn't going to stop and take her hand and get all watery-eyed and explain how the beautiful way that we create more children in the world, that wasn't what she was asking. She wanted to know if human women had eggs. The answer was clear and unambiguous. Yes, I said. I let there be a little pause. I tried to think of some other subject to move on to, but before I could, <clears throat> Mulan said, well, where do women keep their eggs? And I wanted to say, in a vault, in a little purse, <laughs> in a Tupperware bowl in the back of the refrigerator. But I couldn't joke, that was definitely not in the advice books, just the facts. So I said, well, funnily enough, we have evolved to have our own pond right in our own bodies. And that's where we keep our eggs. Where is it, Mulan asked, her eyes bigger than ever. It's in our lower abdomen, inside of us, sort of below our belly button area. Well, how do the eggs get fertilized? I, by the man, I said, smiling. I looked deeply at my green curry and tried to think about how to get this conversation back to frogs. <clears throat> Mulan said, I know, but, but how? I said, well, um, he has this substance called sperm. <clears throat> um, I said this with my eyes darting around, just like my mother would have done in this situation. Which, when I realized I was doing this, it made me momentarily overcome with the horror that I was turning into my mother, which then caused me to turn to Mulan with a focus that should have unnerved even the devil. <clears throat> Mulan said, I know, but how does the sperm get to the eggs, Mom? I took a deep breath and assumed a very casual pose. You could say a forcefully casual pose. And I said, oh, yes, yes, that. Well, um, the sperm uh, comes out of his penis, and it goes into the woman's vagina, and that's how the baby gets started. Isn't this green curry delicious? <laughs> but Milan had put her fork down, and her face was twisted up with a look of disgust. She said, Mom... You mean where you go to the bathroom? That's where humans make a baby, where you go to the bathroom? Mom! Yes, I said, lowering my voice and looking around conspiratorially. I know, it's weird. It is weird. Gross, Mulan mumbled. Yeah, I know, it is. It is a little bit like having a waste treatment plant right next to an amusement park. Zoning. <laughs> how we evolved. But mom, Mulan asked, how can this ever happen? Because mom, men and women, they could never be naked together. Well, I explained. When people are older, much, much, much older, than a kid, for example, when they're much older, and they both decide they want to, in very certain circumstances, then they can be naked together. But how do they know when, Mulan asked. Like, does the man say, is now the time to take off my pants? <laughs> we held 
each other's gaze for a moment out of time. Yes, I said. That's exactly right. And to my great relief, Mulan seemed to be very comforted by this, and we began to eat again with gusto, and we moved on to other topics of conversation. But as we were driving home down Sunset Boulevard, past the bustling Hollywood streets full of people, Mulan asked, what if two people just walked up to each other on the street and just started doing it, Mom? I looked at her in the rearview mirror. Her eyebrows were furrowed, and she was looking at some people standing outside of Yogurtland. Oh, that would never happen, I said. At this point, I decided the best way to approach all questions was to pretend that I was Margaret Mead, or some dispassionate anthropologist discussing the mating habits of some species other than our own. Then Mulan asked, well, what if you went to a party, and there were a bunch of men and women, and they just all started doing it, Mom? Would that ever happen? No, that would never happen, I said, because humans are very private. Mom, Mulan said, Have you ever done this? Yes, I said flatly. But mom, you can't have children. That's true, I said. Well, you never have to do that again. (laughs) I said, said, well, if you really love someone and you're an adult, a a much older adult, then, then you want to do it. There was a moment of silence and Mulan stared out the window deep in thought. But mom, How can people do that? I mean, how do their legs go? You know, not everyone can do the splits. (laughs) At this point, Mulan became somewhat obsessed with legs and sex. She could not figure out how it was physically possible. Finally, I said, Mulan, people figure the legs out. (laughs) They just do. (laughs) Oh, Mulan said, taking this in. She quieted down and we got home. When we got out of our car, our cat Val was sitting in the front yard soaking up the last bits of sunlight. She saw us and rolled onto her back. What about cats, Mulan asked. How do they do it? Oh, it's basically the same idea, I said. We walked in the front door and there was our dog Arden jumping up on us and licking my hand. What about dogs, Mulan asked. Oh, same thing, you know, it's just basically all the same thing for mammals. What about their legs, Mulan asked again. I go, look. I was now tired of the subject and clearly not thinking ahead. Maybe we can look on Wikipedia and it will show you. (laughs) So, we went out back to my office with a big computer screen. We went online and I typed in dogs mating. (laughs) I I felt very thankful that I lived in a modern age where this was possible. And of course, on YouTube, there were thousands of videos. So we sat and watched a couple of them. Mulan was riveted. Her face was closer and closer to the computer screen. What about cats, she asked. We watched a few cat videos. (laughs) Then she put her hand on my arm. Because it's funny because the way I remember this now is that it's in slow motion. And maybe that's because I had only at this time realized how incredibly stupid I was. And Mulan asked with her open, sweet face, her innocent, inquiring face, Mom? Do you think there might be any films of humans mating on the internet? I couldn't believe I had taken my daughter by the hand and introduced her to the idea of internet porn. I was a monster for a mother. I looked at her and said, No. There would never be anything like that. Because humans are so private. (laughs) Then I suggested we go and have some dessert, which of course was teaching her that when issues about sex got awkward, food was really the answer. (laughs) Later that night, Mulan asked, well, wait a minute, what about Roger and Don? How do they do it? Roger and Don are a gay couple who are friends of ours. I said, I don't know. She left. A little while later, she came back and said, Mom, I think I have an idea of how Roger and Don can do it. I said, oh, you do? She said, yeah, Mom, there's another hole down there where you also go to the bathroom. And here was my little daughter at age eight inventing anal sex. Maybe 
I said, trying as hard as I could to act completely bored and disinterested in the topic. But mom, she said, what about two girls? What about Eileen and Karen? Like, how do they do it? I don't know. I said me trying to sound bored. Well, why don't you call Karen and ask her? You can ask me. No, I said, trying, pretending to be reading the paper. Finally, Milan came up to me and pushed her face close to mine. She looked disgusted. She said, Mom, aren't you even curious? Thank you.